Welcome back to our Jenkins tutorial series. In this episode, we will dive into the powerful world of Jenkins pipeline, a key feature for orchestrating complex continuous integration and continuous delivery. Whether you are a developer, system administrator, or DevOps enthusiast, understanding Jenkins pipeline will significantly boost your ability to automate and manage complete life cycle of the application. I have also created a playlist on Azure DevOps Azure Function Apps, Azure Logic Apps, and Azure Database for MySQL. If you are interested, I will provide a link to those playlists in the description box. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. In the next video, we will learn about Jenkins Pipeline Scripting. To create our first pipeline, let's go to our browser. I have already logged into Jenkins. So here click on new item. Enter the name of the pipeline. In the below options just click on pipeline click on ok so here we can enter the description of the pipeline if we wish then we can choose discard old builds if we wish to discard old builds whenever we build this application so the previous builds will be discarded so we can also click on do not allow concurrent builds to allow multiple builds concurrently then we can also choose this do not allow the pipeline to resume if the controller restarts github project if we have any github project We have GitHub pull requests, pull SEM, source control management, quite period, and then we have trigger builds remotely. We can re using scripts. Then going to advanced options, we have display name for this. We are not going to enter any name for now. And then we have this definition pipeline script. We can enter our definition here for the pipeline. For now, we are not going to enter any uh, definition here in this pipeline, or we can simply echo hello world. We can use simple pipeline script to echo hello world on screen Once we have successfully saved our pipeline, we can click on build now, go to the build, go to the console output. So here we can see the pipeline finished successfully. In the next video, we will learn about pipeline scripting. Thanks.